What's happening, Booth Junkies? My name is Mike Delgadio, and I'm a professional voice actor. I do about 90% of my voice work right here in my own home studio, right here in my vocal booth. I'm my own director, my own engineer, my own editor, my own intern. Intern, go get me a cup of coffee, would ya? <clears throat> Where was I? If you're interested in working from home as a voice actor, a voice artist, a narrator, a radio producer, a podcaster, or some other kind of talker behind the mic, then you'll want a digital audio workstation. One that's competent, easy to use, super powerful, and gets out of your way. For me, that DAW is Reaper. I think Reaper is about the best digital audio workstation for voice actors, and certainly the absolute best at its price point. It's extraordinarily capable, feature-rich, and after a short learning curve, it's actually pretty easy to use. But Reaper is also powerful enough to grow with you. And here's what's really cool about Reaper for the working voice artist. Because we're not making music, you can get all the music production stuff that's in a regular DAW, you can get it out of your way. You never need to see it. And in turn, you can turn this into a hyper-optimized voice acting machine. After you get through the configuration and the initial learning curve, you'll wonder how you ever lived in a world where DAWs have all this music production stuff in your way. Or if you're coming from something like Audacity, how you ever lived with destructive editing and limited undos. You'll see how fast Reaper can make your workflow, allowing you to work faster, more efficiently, with custom templates and actions and macros, and have the workstation actually do a lot of the work for you. Which means you work faster, more efficiently, and in turn, you can make more money. So this lesson plan will help you get started with Reaper, get it configured in a way that works for a working professional voice actor, and I'll have it broken up in such a way that you can always come back and look at the different topics when you need it. So let's get started, shall we?